today called Rescuer that we sang last week. But before we start today, I'd like to teach you the motions for the chorus. Are you ready? He's our rescuer. He's our rescuer. We are free from sin forevermore. Oh, how sweet the sound. Oh, how grace abounds. We will praise the our rescuer. Great job. Now let's sing it for real. Are you ready? Here we go. He's our rescuer. Farmer Drew here. I'm filling up this big jug of water so I can water my garden. Today we're going to learn about Jesus turning water into wine. He took a big jug, five times bigger than this, and turned it into wine. It was a miracle. A miracle is when God does something special and mysterious that only he can do to prove his power and to prove that he's the real God. Let's go down to the farm and hear what the farm animals have to say. Maybe they'll tell us the story. Well, thanks, Farmer Drew. I am Ribbit the Frog, and I am Hop the Bunny, and we live on Fletcher Farms. That's right. And today we're going to tell you about Jesus' first miracle. Wait, wait, wait. First, I have a little joke. Oh, okay. What did the mama cow say to the baby cow? I don't know, what? It's past your bedtime. 
<laughs> get it past your bedtime? Okay, Hop, that's pretty good, but let's get back to the point. Today's story comes from John chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Let me read it to you. One day, Jesus' mother, Mary, was at a wedding feast in Cana. Jesus and his disciples were there too. When the wine was all gone, Mary told Jesus, they do not have any more wine. Jesus replied, what does this have to do with me? My time has not yet come. Jesus knew what was best. So Mary said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars at the feast. Jesus told the servants to fill the jars with water. The, the servants filled the jars to the top. Then Jesus said, now take some of the water out and give it to the man in charge of the feast. So they did. The man in charge tasted the water and how, and now, let's see, the man in charge tasted the water and how it had turned into wine. He called the groom and said, usually the best wine is served first, but you have kept the best for last. This was Jesus's first miracle. This miracle showed Jesus's glory and his disciples believed in him. Wow, Hawk, that's an amazing story and an amazing first miracle that Jesus performed. I can't wait to learn more about his other miracles. Well, let's wrap up with one more point. Jesus performed miracles to help people believe that he is the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus has power over everything, and those who believe in him will have eternal life. Well, that's it, kids. I think Farmer Drew is going to wrap us up for the day. this song today we're going to need some kazoos but I don't have a kazoo do you have a kazoo I don't have a kazoo I guess we're gonna have to use our imagination so let's get out our imaginary kazoos and you can repeat after me ready do 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 great job we can sing that in the song today let's get a beat going can snap or clap. My sin has been erased. My 
exciting learning about how Jesus turned water into wine for a wedding he did that for a lot of reasons he did that to show that he loves us that he wants us to enjoy good gifts he also did that to show that Jesus was the only son of God and that God's the one true God the only one that has powerful that has power to perform miracles in the next couple weeks we're going to learn about more miracles that Jesus did to prove that he was God's son and to give glory and honor to the Father the greatest miracle of all, though, is that Jesus came down from heaven to save us. Guys, all of us have darkness in our heart. All of us have sin, and we're all broken. We all say the wrong things, do the wrong things, and we can't fix ourselves. But God sent Jesus to come save us, to fix us, to bring us back into relationship with God that loves us. That's the greatest miracle of all. Kids, if you trust in Jesus and follow Jesus, and you turn from your sinful thoughts and sinful ways, God will save you and you get to spend eternity in heaven with Jesus. Imagine all the parties we're going to have up there with him. It's going to be great. Well, kids, thanks for coming down to Fletcher Farms. Hope you have a great Sunday. See you next week. What a great show. Did you enjoy it, Mr. Sloth? Me too. The next slide has some discussion questions for you and your family so you can talk about the lesson we just heard. Thank you so much for joining us today. I love you and miss you so much. I can't wait to see you next week for CPK in your PJs.